What's going on guys, I'm your host Joe, Unspeakable Gaming, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Security Craft mod from Minecraft 1.6.2. This is going to make your Minecraft safe and stuff, and it is actually really cool. I do not know if this mod works on servers, because it would be a lot more useful on servers. But, um, if you want to try it out on a server that has mods or, or the server that has like Forge or something like that with your friends, then you of course are welcome to do that, but I really don't know, I have no idea if it works on servers, so don't ask me in the comments. But anyways, the, what this mod is going to do is basically add security in Minecraft. And I'm going to show you some of the things that we have. So right here we have a bank in front of us, and I'm going to give you an example of kind of what this mod is about. So we have a little door right here, this is actually a reinforced door, it is a lot harder to break than a normal iron door. Um, but yeah, and then here we have this thing and you're probably thinking like what the heck is this? Well, this is a keypad and I'm going to show you all the crafting recipes. Don't worry. I will get to them But this keypad lets you make a code and it locks your door So let's go ahead and type in a code. I don't know Let's just do one two three four five and then you save the code and then it goes up to the keypad So if we go ahead and press escape um, as you can see there's no way we can open this door at all It will not let us open unless we type in the keypad and this little thing has to sit next to the door It doesn't matter which side it's on it just has to be like touching the door So let's go ahead and type in our key which is one two three four five And then the little light goes green and then the door will open and then it will close It will stay open just for a little bit So now the light is red and that means it's closed and then so if we go ahead and just do it again real quick it will do that so that's pretty cool um, there's a lot more stuff into this mod I'm going to get into it but first I'm going to go ahead and just show you how to craft the keypad the keypad is crafted with um, nine buttons in the crafting table and that will give you the keypad and then our reinforced door actually uh, the crafting recipe is right here the reinforced door is crafted with eight iron ingots and an iron door in the middle and that will give you re your reinforced iron door which is this door right here and then that will be your keypad so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other things if you are in creative and you go over a page you can see all these other awesome things so the first thing let's just start off with the first thing and just work our way up to all the others so let's start off with the laser block I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to craft it before I show you what it does so the laser block is crafted with some pieces of stone block of redstone and a glass pane remember block of redstone is crafted with nine pieces of normal redstone that will give you a block just uh a little heads up if you didn't know that so let's go ahead and place down our laser block and as you can see it doesn't really do anything so but we need another one so we're gonna set another one I don't know let's just set it right there actually I think that's too far okay right there so I guess the max is like four and whenever you walk through this it is going to set electric uh, redstone currents as you can see so if I get off of it the redstone currents will stop then if I get onto it they will start going again so you're probably wondering like what the heck can I do with this well I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that you can do let's say you put some like redstone going this way I don't know and then you put like some redstone going this way and then you put some TNT now obviously this is really noticeable but of course you could hide this stuff under the ground and people wouldn't be able to see it and stuff like that so let's say they're just walking through it activates the redstone and then boom blows up wait for it yeah and then of course it's going to blow up and it will probably hurt your enemies now obviously that, will, that one was this demonstration was obviously pretty obvious but you can of course make um tnt like underground like under these things and just put a loads of tnt so we'll just absolutely destroy this and yeah just basically obliviate i guess you could say your whatever you're trying to kill at whether it's an uh mob or i have no idea what you're going to try to do with this uh laser block thing but yeah next is going to be the mines now we actually have multiple blocks of mines we have a normal mine a dirt mine a stone mine a cobblestone mine a sand mine a diamond ore mine and a furnace mine so i'm going to show you how to craft all these bad boys right now i believe most of them do have craft crafting recipes and they were all right here on screen so first you're gonna have to make one of these mines which is crafted with three iron ingots and then gunpowder that will give you three mines and then you can kind of see all the crafting recipes you just take your block that you want to put a mine into it so if you want a cobblestone mine just take a piece of cobblestone and a mine and then put it in a crafting table and then basically you get the point you can kind of see it on your screen so I'm gonna show you what all these things do so let's take a look at the normal mine if we go ahead and place this thing down when you walk over this thing it will explode and kind of give you some fire too so that's pretty cool crazy and you can kind of guess that all the other things all these other mines right here will do the exact same thing but they are disguised at different as different blocks so as you can see this just looks like a normal block but when you walk over it 
it will blow up so it's kind of scary so if you're to go into like i don't know a cave system or something let's just replace this stone block looks like a normal stone block right you walk over it boom explodes really good way to trick your enemies now of course we have the stone one the sand one the diamond ore one and the furnace one so we have all these other ones if we go ahead and just walk over these real quick and just blow them all up so yeah you kind of get the point of those i think they're pretty cool because you can disguise them as different stuff and it is pretty crazy so the code breaker this thing right here is going to break your codes in the safe and it basically just opens the door for you just in case like you forgot the code so if you craft this code breaker you can just go like that and it just opens the thing without having the safe or without having the key so that's pretty cool i'm going to show you show you how to craft that actually i don't think that has a crafting recipe okay well according to my crafting guide mod i believe that doesn't have a crafting recipe but uh, most of the crafting recipes should be in the Minecraft forum page, but yeah. Next, um, the door remover. There is this thing called the door remover that allows you to remove doors um, or the reinforced iron doors because if we go ahead and, and we're in creative mode and we just break this door, it doesn't give us the door. But if we go ahead and set it back down and use the door remover, actually, actually, whoop, I clicked the wrong thing, I think. Uh, maybe it can't be next to this. I'm not sure. Not 100% sure how this works. Uh, okay, it's not working. Maybe I can't be on obsidian. Okay, there we go. There we go I don't know why it didn't work But as you can see it just said uh, butterball destroyed a reinforced door with the remover And then it shows my coordinates and then it also drops the door on the ground because if you break it in creative mode It will not give you the door. So how do you craft that door remover? I believe there's a crafting recipe right here It is crafted with shears and two iron ingots and that will give you your door remover for the last two things We have fake lava and fake water these things will not hurt you or drop Drowned you so here we have fake lava and when you get into this it will not hurt you at all it will set you on fire but it will not hurt you so that is pretty cool then also fake water will not drown you if you are under it so if we go ahead and take away a few blocks and we go under here I'm not obviously I'm in creative mode but if I were to go into survival mode it will not drown you because it is fake but then again it looks real like it looks like exactly like water as you can see and also the lava when you get into it, it does set you on fire but um if i was in survival mode it actually wouldn't hurt you now that might hurt you if it catches the grass on fire like that but when you jump into it it actually doesn't hurt you i did test it earlier and it actually is pretty sweet in my opinion and how do you get the fake water and fake lava um not a hundred percent sure i do not think there is buckets for it um let me check no i don't see any buckets there's not really buckets for it but there should be a crafting recipe on the minecraft form page like i said if you're any like if you're lost about this mod or need any crafting recipes everything you need will be on the minecraft form page it will always be on the minecraft form page because i'm not going to review a mod that doesn't have any crafting recipes or something like that so guys that's going to be about it for the security craft mod hopefully you enjoyed i think it's a pretty cool mod it kind of secures your minecraft and if this mod worked in a server not 100 sure if it does but um i'm sure it will because most mods uh, do work in servers but since if this mod did work if this mod was in a server it would be pretty freaking cool because like you could bomb your friends with those blocks and they wouldn't know where the mines are and i don't know i just think it would be a lot of fun with all the security and stuff so that's going to be about it for the security craft mod hopefully you enjoyed and yeah ratings are definitely appreciated i'm unspeakable gaming and i'll see you guys later peace